Once again, hello. My name is Kelvin Mashari. I'm born again. I love Jesus Christ. He's the center of my soul. And it has been a while that uh, we took some time off from uh, online sermons and we are back. And I want to just appreciate Radam Tani, the CEO of that company by the name of uh, Timothy Kimari and Makori himself in the house. God bless you so much. Allow me to pray before I begin. Father, I just want to thank you for your word that transcends time. I just want to thank you for this opportunity to share your word this day. Lord, may your word be a light to our path and a lamp to our feet. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Allow me to share this scripture with you in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5. The Bible says, uh, Before I formed you, in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Wow, what a profound word that Jeremiah, at the age of 12, he was being told by God. Now, number one, you have to look at this, is that when God was calling Jeremiah to be a prophet, he was not only calling him, but he was also confirming the calling that Jeremiah had, even before he was born. My theme to you this season is about I am called. The Bible says many are called but few are chosen in the book of Matthew. And I want to bring into focus this sense of calling. You see, before you are called, you are chosen. And in Psalms chapter 139, the Bible says, I believe in verse 15, that you knew my frame even before I was made in the secret place. Oh my goodness. Am I speaking to somebody who needs to be called? God already called you even before you became a substance. Now, when Jeremiah was being called to be a prophet, we see two things in that scripture. We see the word sanctified and we see the word ordained. Now the word sanctified actually means to be set holy. Oh my goodness. Before you were born, already God had set you apart to be holy. Number two, we see the word ordained. Now, before you were born, already God had ordained you to be someone. Some of us, they think we have been ordained to be called uh, doctors. Yes, you may be a doctor, but there's something greater than just being a doctor. Am I speaking to someone? You are called. You are called. Let me repeat that. You are called. And right now you need to focus in prayer that God, what have you called me for? Jeremiah was called to be a prophet at the age of 12. But he was not only being called, he was being confirmed. Because God had already ordained him. The word in verse 5 of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, it says before. Oh my goodness. Before you became. So, you might not have existed in this world, but you existed in the mind of God. And so, right now, I'm here to encourage you that you existed in the mind of God before you became in existence in this world. So, therefore, right now, you may feel you're discouraged, but I'm here to tell you, you are called. This is the season where you hide yourself in your room and you tell the Father, as Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, that when you lock yourself in the room, call your Father in heaven and he will answer. Right now is the time to say, God, I believe you have called me. Until next time, my people, God bless you. Allow me to pray. Father, I give you thanks and praise because, God, you have called us into this truth. I give you thanks and praise because, God, you have called us into this revelation that you have called us, you have chosen us, you have sanctified us, you have ordained us. We give you thanks and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom. And may the peace of God be with you. Amen.